I used to have breast a lot, but now my breasts are really flat. <laughs> today for the first time ever apparently when you're over 40 you're supposed to get a mammogram and that be me so I'm not too excited about it I'm kind of like apprehensive because I really don't like x-rays or whatever the hell they're um, equipment they're using to squeeze my breast down into oblivion but let's see if I survive this day and let's see if my breasts survive that machine Wait, hopefully I'll still be able to get this mammogram today. I even parked in the wrong parking lot. So apparently, when you're over 40, the perks of having yes, health insurance exactly. is you get uh, a free, or not, I shouldn't say free, but you don't have to pay any copay, right? Do I have to pay copay? Exactly, no it's 100% covered <laughs> under Blue Cross Blue Shield. So I accidentally put on deodorant this morning. Um, thank God it was a natural deodorant, but I had to wipe it off before I came here because you're not supposed to put on any perfumes, lotions, or deodorants when you're supposed to get a mammogram. Of course you have to take off your shirt and your bra. Luckily I didn't even wear a bra today on purpose. The digital mammography machine. I prefer to call it the breast presser. So I gave them a pretty good review. They got all fives. Their courtesy and everything was exceptional. So the mammogram went really quickly. Everything was comfortable and um, they explain all about the mammogram to you before you even do it. Um, there's two types of mammograms. There's the three-dimensional and two-dimensional. Um, the three-dimensional gets more information for them, but unfortunately the three-dimensional, you know, gives a little bit off a little bit more radiation. So I opted for the two-dimensional one. Um, they might call me back for a three-dimensional since this is my first mammogram and they don't really have enough information about my history or whatnot. But, um, you know, the first thing that the lady says to me when I walk in there is like, oh, I'm so jealous of your brown skin. You know, she has lily white skin. She's like Irish American. So um, she just needed to give me that compliment because I always get that compliment somehow when I'm in this area of California, <laughs> Burbank. So I've just been driving around here aimlessly in North Hollywood for about a half an hour just trying to find something healthy to eat because after a mammogram you want to eat healthy. So I found this place, I'm gonna google it, I'm parked right outside, it's called Electric Fine Foods or Fine, yeah Electric Foods, Fine Food and Spirits. Let's hope it's not too expensive. So apparently it's called Eclectic Fine Foods and Spirits and it's closed. And my stomach is starting to bite me, so I'm going to go and find something else. Well, it looks like I found the perfect something else right around the corner. So I wanted to go into the bathroom to take out my braces and wash my hands before I eat, but... It looks like somebody's in the bathroom doing the do because they're in there for quite some time and can't come out yet. And I have to take my braces out right here and wash my hands with ice water. So I finally made it into the bathroom and somebody opened the door. I didn't even lock it. God. Anyway. You. I have a feeling this food is going to hit the spot in my stomach that's trying to devour me from the inside out. Give me that, give me that yum yum sauce. I need some garlic pepper sauce. Give me that sauce. I'm not gonna lie folks, that food was just not popping. It's just like some kind of flavor was missing with the food and, and it was kind of oily, you know? I don't know what it is, um, but food lately has just been tasting a lot better to me, like after I bring it home and it sits for a while on the counter. Maybe I just need to take it home and doctor it up a little bit because I had to, I couldn't finish it all. <laughs> 